Hey everyone, and welcome back to Sasquatch Theory. In this episode, I am traveling down to Southeast Missouri to meet up with Bill and some private researchers from the state. The property owner has encountered these creatures in the past and was willing to share his latest encounter. The researchers and myself search the property for any signs and clues. Join us to explore the hidden world of Bigfoot in hopes that we will find a lead or catch a glimpse of one of these elusive creatures. I'll show you right where uh, Debbie and I, my wife, we were coming back. It was uh, three weeks ago on a Saturday. Uh, my wife and I was coming back from having dinner with some friends, with Ed and Lisa. Uh, they live in DeSoto, and we were coming back home. And it was 3.15, 3.20 in the afternoon, broad daylight, like it is actually earlier than this, a little brighter. Mm -hmm. And we were coming up. We turned left and we drove maybe 250 feet, 300 feet. Mm -hmm. And we surprised him and we caught him going off the road and into the woods. We seen his back half of his, of his waist, his yeah. leg and, and his butt mm -hmm. uh, going right off into the woods. And I'll show you exactly where it was that uh that we seen him at mm -hmm. and it was really really hot and it had been hot for three four weeks i mean just burning up brutal hot heat no rain for i don't know that a month and uh so he was going from south to north and purely speculation uh i'm just guessing he was heading down to the creek uh yeah. down here at these low water crossings well, if he was moving during the day, he probably was. Yeah, and it was broad daylight, so he was probably pretty uh -huh. thirsty. Yeah. And, and what water holes he had back up in here mm -hmm. would had probably, you know, dried up. Yeah. You know? Now, I know there was, like, a bad storm out here. Do you think that's, like, tornado damage or is... Well, you know, I, I seen that. Or, like, and county workers? I mean, heck, we got a little X right here. Yeah, yeah I saw that on the way in. Uh... I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to make anybody think that yeah. it's something it's not. But, you know, it could be. It, it, and then it might not be. Yeah. It's at the right height, though. Yeah. The yeah. right area. <laughs> right area. I mean, there, well, you know, like I said, so far, there's been a report of a daylight sighting on Rock Pile Mountain Road, which oh. is back that way, about a mile. Yeah. And then we had that one in our backyard, which is right back here. And I witnessed a lot of activity. Yeah, oh, that night. <laughs> yeah, that was a wild night. Oh man, that was a crazy night. That was so much fun. And then uh, Debbie and I uh, had that daylight sighting right down here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this place is just loaded up. It really is. Well, up with them. And I was saying before, if you're having this much activity here, I mean, cause let's face it, Walmart's 15 minutes away. Mm -hmm. So imagine if you go down deep, deep, deep into the Ozarks, imagine the stuff that you might see down there. Oh, I mean, yeah. It, it, it would probably just get crazy down there. But as you can see by these woods, they would not have any kind of a problem. I mean, just hiding anywhere mm -hmm. right up in here. I mean, when he, when he, by the time he made it off the road and we drove up to where he crossed at, he was, he was gone. I mean, we didn't even stop. We just kind of kept going, which I'm glad that we didn't stop because, you know, maybe he's thinking, hey, we're not that, not that really interested in him. You know, I mean, if, I think if we would have stopped and chased him, mm -hmm. he, you know, you're not going to catch a squatch anyway. Yeah. But I will be buying, uh, car camera mm -hmm. to put in the windshield of the car you yeah. can bet on that yeah that'd be cool i've been looking at them but you know you get so confused because there's a, a, a thousand different kinds out there it seems like mm -hmm. 
And I've been told there's lots of big cats right out here, all, all through these woods out here too. And you've seen that tree. Yeah. At our house back there. I mean, it's all it's all scratched up real good. So. Yeah, I'm glad it's not like 100 degrees out right now. Right now, it's a it's 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 hot, but hey, it could be a lot worse. Yeah. So you think it was the Jeep? Like the new tires on the Jeep that I kept them think from you? because like I said, Debbie, uh, you know, two years ago she was complaining, believing about the tires being too noisy on the on the Jeep. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes on the Jeep tires they do get noisy. So we had purchased some uh, tires that were made, specifically made, uh, to be quieter mm -hmm. on the roads. And I think that really helped us because when we come down off the blacktop right here, we were coasting up to the turn and the engine would just, was, you know, just coasting up there and I mean, didn't make any noise. I mean, I don't think he even heard us till we hit the gravel. Yeah, probably not. Right up here. Unless and they just know, oh, that's Bill and Debbie's car. You know what I mean? They probably, you know, <laughs> and they know their yard. They know there's a Bigfoot cutout yeah. in, in, in our yard. Mm -hmm. And you, you, go, you gotta wonder, what do they think about when they see that thing? Yeah, the yeah. car kind of sticks out. So when you see yeah, it, it's like, oh, it Bill does. just coming home. Okay, so we are at the spot right here is where he come across right here, mm -hmm. right off into here. And, and uh, right down in there is where he crossed at. Okay, and you were coming? We were coming from right here. Mm -hmm. Can you see that stop sign down there? Yeah. We had, we come up that stop sign, turn left, hit the gravel road right there, and I know he heard us then. Mm -hmm. And when we seen when we seen him, we was right here up on top of this this high ground right here, this little hill, mm -hmm. is where we were at when he crossed right here. So we got a good look at his back half. He was on all fours. Yeah. He was brown brownish red, but more brown than red. His hair was two and a half inches long. I mean, and what was crazy, it was nice and uniform. What we could see, mm -hmm. his back leg. His thigh was about this big around. Jeez. His butt, I mean, just huge, mm -hmm. just huge. And he just went and just disappeared right there. I mean, he was just gone. Yeah. And he, and again, so doggone fast mm -hmm. and quick. I mean, as, as soon as you see something, as, as soon as you see a squatch moving, uh, when they're trying to get out of the way, trying to get out of your eyesight, you, you know it's not a deer, it's too fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see a deer run as fast as they want to run, and you see a squatch moving on their all fours, on all fours, there, there's, there's no comparison. Yeah. They're twice to three times faster mm -hmm. than any deer uh, I've ever seen run. And this one here was no exception. He was just fast. I mean, so far in my life, doing what I do, I've seen three Sasquatches, two daylight, mm. counting this one, two daylight sightings. The two daylight sightings I had, both of them were on all fours. One coming out of the woods chasing a deer, uh, this one running across the road, and then the one behind my house was a nighttime sighting. I cannot tell you what color that squatch was. I can't tell you anything about it except for it was a Sasquatch with a gorilla face, a big head, the big pointed head, mm -hmm. and hit it with the flashlight. And she was looking at me, and all she did, I say she, I don't know if it was a she or not, she just turned her head like this, mm -hmm. not in any hurry, not, not excited, just slowly turned her head that way and just disappeared off into the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one, uh, again, was a good daylight sighting, 3.30, 3.15, 3.20 uh, in the afternoon on Saturday, about three weeks ago. And he went off that way, uh, heading right towards the creeks. Again, speculation, I'm just guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was no mistaking what it was. There yeah. was, there was, I mean, I, I know what I've seen. My wife, uh, Debbie, she knows what she's seen. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just cool, man. 
I mean, it, it was cool as heck. What about the one that was chasing a deer? Uh, that one was out at, uh, out in the Cape area. Mm -hmm. And that when I was sitting in my tent, it was at, that was at 5.30. Yeah. And, and I'm sitting in my tent, I'm just sitting there, uh, not particularly thinking about a squash, just looking down the tree line. And uh, probably, I would say, maybe 150 feet, 175 feet, mm -hmm. a deer came running up out of the woods, and I could tell he was running from something. Uh, it, it was a doe running from something. And so I set up, and right behind that doe came a squatch on all fours chasing the doe. Mm -hmm. And he was a heck of a lot faster than that deer was, than that doe was. He looked over and seen my tent. It was bright orange. You can't miss it. Yeah. And he just dropped down out of sight. He just dropped down into the weeds. And I didn't even see him go back in into the woods. He just mm -hmm. disappeared off. I don't, I, don't even, I don't know where he went, how he got there. Right up in there, right through here, right across the road. Yeah, I mean, could be this is definitely a Sasquatch trail. I'm, I don't mean that one right there, but this specific area. Yeah, yeah. Crossed up. This is one of their crossings. Was he, was he like on the lower part, like of the ditch here, or was he like coming off the hill? You so he was right here. Oh, he was right here? He was already across the road. Oh, okay, he already crossed. Yeah, he already crossed. So he's and, definitely using this waterway to navigate, though. Yeah. This little ditch line. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So right here, we caught his, his back end mm -hmm. going off, off into the woods, and he was gone and disappeared before we even got up here. Yeah. Uh, he, of course, at the time, you know, I had this neck surgery, and I couldn't turn my neck real good, but uh, he was already gone. Time mm -hmm. we got up here, and we weren't going fast. We're at a country road, dirt road, so we were just, you know, cruising along, you know, and and uh, yeah, he was out of sight by the time we even got up here. Have you had anything crazy happen since the last time I was out, and we had that those experiences? <laughs> that crazy night. Did they gift you anything after that? No, uh, they haven't, and I quit putting uh, stuff up on the gifting tree because last winter, I mean, I put stuff up there and they never took it. Mm -hmm. But now, summertime, maybe they'll start coming back around up there, and maybe I might start putting up some some beef or uh, you know some more apples up there and, and see if they come back mm -hmm. around because they're out here. I mean, I mean that one there. This was just three weeks ago, and uh, so. But no, uh, nothing's crazy. I mean, I came out. I, I come outside and you hear noises. Uh, you're not sure what they are. You know, you when you hear coyotes out here and mm -hmm. and things like that. You, you see raccoons and possums and. And things like that. Once in a great while, you're, you'll you know you'll come across where you, you'll see a Sasquatch. And there's been a few reportings, a few reports out here too, uh, right down near Rock Pile Mountain. Yeah. Uh, out here about squatches. Yeah, the guys are talking about going out there this weekend. Are they? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. I've never been out there. I noticed this really weird chemtrail. It's like black. I've never seen a chemtrail that was black. Look at that. Isn't that wild? We shot some tannerite and Steve was cutting up some trees. And as you guys can see, I got my camp set up and we're gonna get things set up around the campfire and see if they come in. We've already heard some noises down in the woods. So I'm pretty confident that they're around. All right, so I'm gonna close that up and bury it underneath the leaves and kind of hide it behind these sticks and stuff. You can tell where Steve's cut a bunch of wood in the past, but I got it on a little external mic and it's kind of camouflaged. 
not that it matters. They know that it's around or that I set it up. So hopefully we'll capture some good audio and we'll see what happens. If they come in tonight, I have the night vision camera with the IR. I don't have a thermal yet, so we'll see what happens. There's definitely something down there because those crows are going off. These are hickory nuts. It's a hickory? Yep. This kind of looks like something. 18 inch right there. What do you think, yeah. Steve? Well, nice find, Miguel. It's a yeah, nice find. It's Look um, how deep it is. It's a mm. right handed, uh, it's a right foot because there's the big toe. I would say that's about 21. And this is 20 and a half, 21. And this is actually some, my, look how soft, this is kind of a mixture of like fine powder mud and pine needles. Mm -hmm. And there's so many places around here, you can't get a good impression, but this is a spot where there is some dirt. It's soft. Yeah. It's soft and there you go. And also a lot of people say, oh, I only find one print. How do you know it's big foot print? Well, look right here. Joe, where's the next one at? Six foot stride. Yeah, a... Oh Lord. Six foot from here, right here. Yeah. That one yeah, that could have, be. That one didn't make as good. If as that was one. a left, I'm just gonna go parallel. That's a right. That's a right. Oh, that's a right. Because that one looks like a right. Yeah, that that does look like a right. Big toe. Big oh, toe I don't right know. Here. Okay, uh -huh. so if that's one, mm -hmm. if that's another one. How, how do you measure the steps? It's from uh, heel to heel or toe to toe. Either way, just go. So on that one, you go base of the heel. Well, that one would be about right here. I'd say the base might right where my toe is. 81 right there. inches. That's. Uh, that's huge. Six feet, eight inches. Mm -hmm. And here's the next one and it Steve's is, talking and about. It is actually it's hard to say. Guys. Yeah. I'd say Definitely when it's muddy here in the yard, you'd get something like that. Should be one over here. <laughs> Should be one over there. Actually, well, I'm, I'm, look, I'm just looking at some stuff over here. There's something going on here. Joe, he come up in that wash there. Think so? Yeah, look at it. Look at, look at the direction. There should be another print over there her own and it didn't take her long to get there yeah that's a that's a nice uh, find McGill that you just found uh, we're gonna go ahead and cast this I think it's somewhat worthy of casting take a look see we might have to put something back here so the plaster don't pour out I think we're looking at probably 21, mm -hmm. 21 inches. If it is a track, would you say that's like the left foot, like the big toe there? That's the right foot. The right the, foot? That's the big toe there. Okay. Yeah, that's what I would say. Yeah. And we might get a little toe definition in this cast. It's probably a little bit older cast, but uh, or print, but I think we're going to have some definition on the toes. I think it's right at the threshold of worthiness to, uh, to do, but... Uh, I might have uh, Joseph here mix up the uh, consistency of the, uh, sure the plaster so it's good while I get this cleaned up and uh, maybe get something put down here so we don't lose... Uh, Got your plaster in here? Yeah, we don't lose uh, lose it. All right. Actually, let's clean this bag out and you'll, that'll be enough. I'll just use it all. Okay. Here, here we go. I got to whole bunch in here this is good. since it's going down this hill here I'm gonna wrap this back half of it because I'm concerned it might once we start pouring it's gonna uh, roll downhill so sometimes you have to do that on hills mm -hmm. it definitely looks like something stuck there it does I don't know if it's Bigfoot but the one I had over at the cemetery was was real uh, mm -hmm. couldn't find me it, you can see the toes very well yeah the distance was kind of consistent with Right here, there's a toe that we're, we need to pull that end out a little bit. Actually, a lot. Right there. Yeah. Coat. <laughs> we can stack it up. Yeah. All right. So Steve is going to pour the mix into the track, and another, hopefully it doesn't rain on it. Another impression up there, but the, yeah, just pour it in there. Pretty, pretty thick, guys. It'll settle out. Yeah, spread it around a little bit. Steve shows the group how to cast a track, and 
Like we said, we don't know for sure if it's a Sasquatch track, and I think Bill said it best in the beginning of the video. I don't want to make anyone think it's something that it's not, but it's always good to learn just in case we find those prized tracks in some location. See how you I got Lulu in there. Here we go. So hard. It's like concrete. Yeah. Wow. I got a couple of roots hung on to it. And it's very early Definitely in the morning. A good cast. It looks strong. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it did turn out better than what I thought it would. There's no toes, guys. I knew. All right, we are heading to Rock Pile Mountain. So it's 6.2 miles, 13 minute drive to Rocky Top. Or Rock Pile, sorry. Oh, Rock Pile Mountain. Masonry, stone mason, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's that's like a Yeah, it does. It looks like a little circle drive through here. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and look around. Okay. See all these little pillars? Oh yeah, nice. Little stone here. What a great spot to put a fire watch tower. Mm -hmm. well, this is the highest part of the mountain right here. Yeah. Let's put it the highest part of the mountain. So yeah, this is like a continuation of the uh, the Lower Rock Creek Pink Granite. There's a zone. It's it, it, if you it's look at the, far away. if you look at the state of Missouri. Right. The yeah, this might be something right here too. Think. Some weird breaks and stuff going on here. Murder. Hornet. I do not know what Ben Pat over. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's kind of a trail walking through there. That's just a pea band there. That thing doing. Okay, this one here, right here, mm -hmm. came off there. It's rock. This one here came off this one. When this came down, it bent that over. Mm -hmm. Natural occurring. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what I was looking at over there was that A frame. I don't know. Could be random. Look kind of symmetrical. Hey, if you poke around here long enough, you're going to find some structures, no doubt about it. Yeah. All right, so basically the plan for tonight is Steve has a good fire going and we shot off some tannerite earlier in the day and it seemed like the neighbors were shooting off tannerite as well. It kind of seemed like we had this little game going where we'd shoot and the neighbors would shoot. But I don't know, the plan is to get that smoke up in the air, get the sounds going and cook some good food and hopefully the smell of bacon and smoke will bring them in the area and that's the plan so we just got some crazy vocalizations down from the forest or down in the woods and it's the second time it's happened within the last 20 minutes so we're hoping we can catch something I'm gonna try to get my audio set up and ready to go we got the bacon going here and hopes that brings the Sasquatch. Is that turkey bacon? No, that's the real McCoy. That's thick cut pork bacon. What do you see, Joe? Uh, well, I think I got, I got a raccoon moving in here. 
could be a possum too. It's kind of it's. But you it's, got a hit on, on the thermal. Yeah, he's over there on the spot right now. Okay, cool. Yep. Licking the bacon grease off the ground. Yeah. Off the grass. See plants and going up and down. He's like staying right there. Yep, he's checking us out. That's it. What, see what I'm doing right now? I'm hiding in the shadow. Yeah, I'm just yeah. sitting here. Hiding in the shadows, man. That's what I've been doing my whole life. Hiding in the shadows. And the head on that thing, those big old eyeballs. Yeah, that was weird. I'm going to have to go through my animal head index. Mm -hmm. Up and down. Up, down, up, down. Left, right. Up, right. down. What the hell? What the hell would that be, man? Right straight back here. It was well, funny. It was like spying on us. And did, spying on us, dude. Yeah, did you notice that he was like directly lined up with that big oak tree? Yeah. I'm hoping a Sasquatch would do that. It's not even care. It was a really fun trip and I really enjoyed hanging out with the guys and looking around for Sasquatch sign. I heard all kinds of strange sounds coming from the forest. It was a real bummer that none of the audio recorders worked. I've been practicing at home and I've captured a ton of good audio that I will show you guys in the near future. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. I'm coming back to Bill's property and I'm going to capture evidence if it's the last thing I do.